I was diagnosed with breast cancer January of 2021. I went to the doctor, I had a large lump. It was growing at an alarming rate. It had tripled in size. The church had been praying for me. My husband was praying for me. All of my neighbors were praying for me. And I could feel the power of prayer all around me. But that fear still really gripped me. It's like, how do I deal with this? How do I handle this? And so Micah had given me an MP3 player on faith. And during this whole time, I would play that every night because during the night, sometimes it's when the fear would grip me. One night I fall asleep and I'm listening to the MP3 player and I had a dream that totally changed my life. <laughs> and it's hard for me to talk about this. <laughs> But I had a dream that I seen Jesus on the cross. I could feel that I was totally healed. And I knew at that time that I had to forgive other people in my life, and I did. But the one person that I had to forgive was myself, because I kept thinking of all the things that I've done over the years that I needed forgiveness for. And when I looked at Jesus in this dream, I heard this really stern but very loving voice said, my child, you've already been forgiven. And at that point on, I had faith. I had more tests, infection set up. I went back into the hospital for nine more days, had IVs in my name, in my veins, and a lot of antibiotics going through me. I had total peace. I went in to have all the bone scans, body scans, to test to see if any cancer was left. My husband and I get all the results back. The cancer is gone. Everything has just been a miracle. It's just been a miracle. That dream is what changed my life. It's like having the faith, having a good pastor, having a good church, having good neighbors, people that would pull my weight. As soon as I felt that faith was so strong, I knew there was nothing that could take that away. Breast cancer is something that's serious. You know, people die from it, it affects everybody. You know, you can be given good doctors and good surgeons and God places those people in your life to help you, but the ultimate healer is God. And whatever gets thrown in my path now, I know I have faith. I know that faith is gonna get me through. And I think myself, like so many people, you feel like you don't deserve it or why would God heal me? You know, but you got to realize that you are his child and he loves you. And if you accept that love and you say thank you, anything is possible. You know, it can happen. It's possible.